that was fun. And right next to her. Well, you know, I think the first two Ant-Man movies really focused a lot on family and the relationship between parents and kids, and I think that is definitely true in this one. Um, I mean, the situation is a little different and it gets a little crazy, but I think uh, those themes are constant. Well, nobody has fans like Marvel has fans, and my God, I was coming in and seeing so many people dressed as, you not just all different kinds of Avengers, but really going for like deep cuts. And uh, I saw a few uh, Baskin Robbins, Scott Langs. I saw one person dressed as Antony, the ant from the first Ant-Man movie. Um, so it was very gratifying for me um, to see, you know, the real love that people have for Ant-Man. And they're dressing up as, um, you know, characters that weren't even on the call sheet. Oh, I'm, I, I'm excited for them to see the movie. I'm excited for them to, you know, start, like, meet Kang. Kang is an amazing villain. And, uh, and hopefully just see the movie and enjoy it and uh, get excited for everything that's going to come after. Well, I'm so excited to see the fans tonight. That always gets me the most excited to see the fans turn out. And there's so many of them here. And I just want to go take pictures with all of them. I'm really excited for the audience to discover Kang. I, I was so excited when I saw Kang, when I met Jonathan on set as Kang. I was scared out of my mind. Um, and I'm really excited for everyone to meet Cassie Lang. I'm nervous, I'm excited. I'm, you know, I feel really close to her. So I just hope everyone loves her as much as I do. I'm trying to stay as calm as, as possible, but I'm, I'm extremely excited. Uh, my family's here, my team's here. Kang is here officially, so uh, it's it's something to celebrate. Look, cosplay is cool. It's cool, you know. Um, it, it's cool to see yourself uh, or see a character you play out in the world like that. You know that it touches people on a on a pretty deep level. You know, and so and they haven't even seen the movie yet. Uh, wonderful. It's always so cool to see the fans do the cosplay of the Wasp, and especially the little ones. They're the cutest. 
I think I'm most excited for the audience to meet Kang, to get to know Janet Van Dyne a little bit more. She is so cool in this movie. And um, to see the quantum realm. It's stunning. Making this movie was so much fun that now getting to celebrate it, it feels like um, the perfect excuse to bring all the same energy that we had when we were on set to a party. Like, this is amazing. I see fans lined up around Westwood. People are so excited. And I have to tell everybody, making this, the, the, the parts of it that I got to be present for, being with these incredible people was so much fun. I had so much joy making it that I, I feel like if people in the theater even get a fraction of that, they're going to be in for one of the best movie going experiences they've had in a very long time. I am a fan. I have grown up my entire life collecting comic books, going and waiting behind barriers to see if I could get a picture of, you know, uh, people making movies. Uh, I go to conventions and get autographs. So for me, getting to now be on this side of the, the aisle is a little weird, but it's really lovely and I see them out there and I and I'm proud of what we've made because I know that if I, as a fan, I'm proud of this and I'm very excited about it. It's a nice group. It's always a joy when you're doing a picture with your best of friends, with the, with the whole team is, that you're working with. Uh, Paul sets a great tone for the rest of us and uh, enjoyed it a lot. It was, it was, a, it was a great shoot. It, it's, it's an amazing group. I saw about three Hank Pims just a minute ago. It looked better than I did. Um, they were fantastic. No, I, I didn't grow up with the comics. So for me to see this kind of zealotry and the passion they have and how well they know the stories working together uh, was something very special. I mean, this is my first red carpet, so I'm kind of like, what is this? It's insane. Um, really great energy. Everybody's like dressed up and they look amazing, and yeah, just really excited. I think everybody's as excited as I am. Um, I mean, we still have, I think family is like a huge part of Ant-Man in particular, so we have that, but I think what it really means to be a hero is gonna be one of the biggest messages we have out of this one. I mean, it's intense, the, the energy is intense. I've never been on a, a carpet like this before, so. It's the first time for me, so it's, I'm sort of just kind of deer in the headlights about it. Uh, but it's great to, to actually get to sort of celebrate this, you know, after, you know, after working on it for a while. So it's, it's I'm, I'm excited. The stakes are a little bit higher in certain ways, and, you know, we're getting introduced to a, a, a big bad in this one, you know. So it's, everything is just sort of like turned up a notch, and I, I think that'll be interesting. Well, it kind of never gets old. I mean, the Marvel premieres are always something. Uh, obviously, this is our third Ant-Man movie. Um, we went big on this one on Quantumania. Uh, I'm thrilled because we get to see everybody we made the movie with and, uh, and the fans. The fans are always the thing. They, they show up early and they're out here and it's, I love it. Well, for me as the director, creating the Quantum Realm was one of the big joys of the movie because we, it was a part of the Marvel Universe that had not been explored, so we got to really create it from the ground up. So, you know, we assembled this mad team of artists, uh, all these concept illustrators, and we just said, come up with your craziest ideas. Uh, and the whole idea of like, what it was gonna look like, what it was gonna feel like, what the laws of physics were, and, and uh, I think we ended up with something pretty incredible. Well, it's great because, you know, this third time out, we get to sort of spend more time with the, the Langs and the Pims and the Van Dynes and the family and kind of deepen those family dynamics. But we're doing it now in a very, very strange place. We're taking these familiar characters and thrusting them further down into the quantum realm than we've ever been before. So that presented a great opportunity for, uh, you know, our new characters to mingle with our old characters. And they meet some pretty strange people down there. Yeah, no, they are die-hard fans, and I think we're the, what, 31st MCU movie? And, you know, I think the fans love Paul Rudd as Scott Lang. I think the fans are also very, very intrigued with Jonathan Majors and his version of Kang the Conqueror in the movie. Uh, and, you know, we're kicking off Phase 5 and introducing this new big bad villain into the MCU, which I'm personally very, very excited about. You know, I, I was just talking with Paul Rudd and, 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 and Peyton Reed, 
these people who jumped onto this little thing called Ant-Man many, many years ago and believed us when we said, but we really believe this character, if he connects, can be the key and the linchpin to the bigger universe. And now here we stand at the premiere of Quantumania, which is the kickoff of phase five. And as people already saw in Endgame, where he helped save the whole world, which Scott Lang will remind you of if you were ever talk to talk to him. It's really fun because this movie is not just, uh, you know, another, another story. It is a continuation of this family. You know, much more so than any other movie. Scott Lang and Hope and Cassie and seeing this father and daughter and multiple father and daughters. It's very funny. It's very sweet. It's very relatable. And then we throw them all down to the quantum realm and introduce Kang, which for us is something we've waited many, many years to do. We saw a little glimpse of a version of him in uh, the season finale of Loki on Disney+, Plus, but Jonathan Majors makes a gigantic and colossal impression into the MCU with Quantumania, and I can't wait for people to see it. You know, I, this is, of, of all of our films we've done since Endgame, this is the one that connects to the bigger picture. And that's what I'm excited about. Phase four, we introduce a lot of fun, great characters on Disney Plus and in theaters, and all of whom will be very important going forward. But now finally kicking off phase five, people are going to start to see the bigger picture as we get towards the next Avengers film. So that, I'm very excited for that part. It is a feeling of celebration, you know, it's always mixed with some nerves, obviously, you know, there's a healthy dose of that as well, too, because you're pulling back the curtain on something you've been uh, working on. In this case, almost four years, which is pretty crazy to think about, but it's awesome. Yeah, I mean, we're so proud of the movie, you know, it's been a, an amazing journey. Hayton's an awesome partner, the cast is amazing, and here we go. It's, it's all about tonight. <laughs> I'm most excited for the audiences to discover the quantum realm as a place and feel like it's this massive world that we've only just glimpsed a little bit of in this movie. Maybe there's more stories to tell there. And I'm excited for them to meet Kang, who's going to be such a big presence moving forward in, in Phase 5. And I think after they've seen this movie, where he sits and how important he will be will be uh, very clear by the end of the night. <laughs>